Hey guys, Rusty Ober here, and today I got a new guide for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to solo Glory of the Dragon Soul Raider for the Reigns of the Twilight Harbinger. Now guys, this mount is ugly as fuck. This thing is uglier than the fucking Grave Mine from Halo 2. The only reason why you're going to want to get this mount is just to add it to your collection and never have to look at it again. So, this achievement is really, really easy to do, especially since they took out the achievement from Hagra. It just made it that much easier. God, look at that fucking face. It's disgusting. Anyways, let's get started with the guide, don't we? First achievement is going to be Don't Stand So Close to Me. Now, guys, any class could do this. It's really, really easy to do. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull the boss and pull your pants down and whip out your dick and kill the boss. Now, it's really important that you whip out your dick because the boss is going to be really scared at how massive it is and how small his is. It's that easy to do. Next one, you want to move on to Ping Pong Champion. I fucking love this achievement. I just have fun doing it. It's just fun to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull Warlord Zanas here. And what he's going to do is going to spawn an ad called the Void of the Unmaking. It's going to be this purple ball. You can see it right there. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to follow that ball around. What the ball is going to try and do is it's going to try and reach the boss. And if it does, it's going to start phase two. You don't want that to happen right away. Every What you could do instead is that if it hits you, it'll bounce off you and keep bouncing. Every time it bounces off you, it's going to gain a stacking buff. On the boss and the ad. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you track it. It's fine. They both have the same amount of stacks. Once the ad gets 10 stacks of its buff. You can see it's also getting bigger every time it gets a stack. It makes it that much easier. You can go ahead let it hit the boss and you can kill the boss off. And that's the achievement. Now I do want to say the only way you can really fuck this up is through getting dazed. Because it slows you down. Meaning the ad can hit the boss if you're too slow. So if you have a tank spec I do recommend doing it in a tank spec. It makes you immune to daze. Same thing when you wear pride as the shield pride as gives will also make you immune to daze. So you can see it hits 10 stacks. I let it hit the boss. As soon as it does I pop my meta and I nuke the boss down. Guys this achievement is really really easy to do. And it's also quite enjoyable to do. I really like this one. Next one moving on to taste the rainbow. Now guys we all know that skittles is the best candy ever so this achievement is going to be a fun achievement to do i'm just kidding this achievement's boring as fuck but it's also really easy to do so you go ahead and you want to pull the boss fucking your shazzy on sleeping i think i actually pronounced that right i think i did i'm proud of myself anyways pull the boss now about every i'd say like 20 seconds he's gonna do a, you can see his actual track on dbm he's gonna do a call blood of shuma what this does is if you're doing this on Heroic, by the way, all these bosses need to be done on Heroic for the meta achievement. You can do it on separate lockouts, it's up to you. On Heroic, he spawns four ads. On normal, he only spawns three. So I do recommend doing this on Heroic, it makes it easier. He spawns four ads. You can see I'm tracking the achievement on the right. You need to get the different color combos, which again, you can see I'm tracking on the right. The achievement doesn't actually track, by the way. I'm just tracking it mentally. So you see here, I got the green, the red, the yellow, and I believe I also got what? The purple one? No, excuse me, the black one. So you can see on the right, I got the black and yellow combo and the red and green combo. So those combos are done. Now I only need the black and blue combo and the purple and yellow. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, you're going to want to wait. This boss is not going to kill you as long as you're level 110. You're fine. Don't worry about damage. So again, you can see here he's doing Call and Blood of Shuma. So I got the purple, the black, the yellow, and what else did I get? I didn't look yet. Actually, let's see. No, I got the purple, the black, and blue. That's it. Excuse me. So you can see I got the last two combos there. I got the black and blue combo, and I also got the purple and yellow. By the way, the ads won't actually be called like purple ad or purple globule. They will have like glowing globule. Just look at the lights where they spawn, and you'll see the colors. It's that fucking simple. Unless you're colorblind. If you're colorblind, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, wait for the different color combos to spawn. I do let them reach the boss just in case. I don't know if they actually need to reach the boss. I just let him hit it just in case. As soon as they all hit the boss, you could go ahead and you could kill the boss off, and that's the achievement. It's really easy to do, and honestly, it's just a wait. It's pretty much just a waiting game to be honest. If you're not sure what to do, just wait till he does like call blood assume like four times, and you'll be fine. Now again, they took out the Hagrid achievement, so you don't need to worry about that. So we're moving right to old track scene. Now guys, just like the first boss, this is really important that you do this. You pull down your pants, whip out your dick, and one shot the boss who get the achievement. It's that easy. Just do that, and you'll be perfectly fine. Just go ahead and kill the boss. Now, again, I already have this achievement in all my characters because, you know, I've ran Dragon Soul over 300 times for the mounts, and I finally got them all. Anyways, moving on to Deck Defender. Now, if you have a ranged DPS, you're going to want to bring that ranged DPS in. It makes this achievement, it basically simplifies this achievement. If you're a melee, most melee have ranged tools that could actually, you know, hit stuff from a range. What you're going to want to do is those Twilight Assault Drakes that come flying in and spawn the ads, you're going to want to kill them before they even have a chance to spawn the swirlies that need to be soaked. What they do is, if they spawn those swirlies, 
the small swirlies, not the big ones. You don't need to worry about the big ones. If those small swirlies hit and you don't soak them, you fail the achievement. I'll show you what those small swirlies look like in a bit. You see that big one there? You don't need to worry about that. You could soak it if you want. It's not that big of a deal. It doesn't actually fail the achievement, the big ones. It's the small ones you need to worry about. Now, if you're a melee and you let the as actually get harpooned and basically you have to wait, you're going to have a hard time doing this. Here, I'll show you here. Those are the small swirlies that need to be soaked. This is only one ad, and he spawns them pretty frequently. I actually almost fail it here, but I luckily I soak it. Now, again, if you're a ranged or you're like the tank spec like me, Vengeance Demon Hunter, you could actually kill the ads before they even have a chance to spawn those swirlies as they're flying in. That is your best bet for getting this achievement. If you cannot do that for whatever reason, you need to find the way. You need to be mobile, like, for example, here, Avengers Demon Hunter. I could just leap on the small edge. You need to soak those small swirlies. Otherwise, you fail the achievement. But to be honest, guys, if you could just get the range in, it'll be that much easier. So you just need to kill three sets of the drakes. Once you kill all three sets of drakes, you can see here, again, I'm killing them as they come in. Once you kill all three sets of drakes, you could go ahead and kill the boss off as normal. Now, another tip, if for whatever reason you do get them to, uh, or this is more of a note, if you only get them to 1 HP, the cannons will actually just finish them off, so you don't need to worry about that. As long as you get them to at least 1 HP, they'll be perfectly fine. So again, you need to do this with three sets of the assault tricks. Once you kill three sets, you're perfectly fine. Just go ahead and kill Warmaster fucking Blackhorn here. Kill Goriana if you're doing this on Heroic, which I'm assuming you are, because you need the Heroic achievements for the meta achievement, and you'll get the achievement. I already had this on my Demon Hunter, so that's why I didn't pop there. It's really easy to do. Next one, I'm moving on to maybe he'll get dizzy. Now, this one is really easy to do, the achievement itself. If you're going to fail the achievement, it's to actually not knowing how to do the Spine of Deathwing fight. So, you're going to get like a little two-part guide here. I'll show you what to do for uh, how to actually complete Spine of Deathwing. So, I start off with killing the Corruption Tentacles. You don't need to. It's not that big of a deal. Well, actually, no. You want to kill at least one. No, just kill them all. Kill them all. It's that easy. Kill them all so you have shit to stand on. So... The way his roll works is that he's gonna, if you're standing on his left side, he's gonna roll to the left. If you're standing on his right, he's gonna roll to his right. Now, the combo you wanna do is left, right, left, right. You can see I'm also tracking Chima on the right. So you see here, I stand on the left side and he rolls left. So as soon as he's done, I move over to the right. Now, in order to survive the roll, you need to stand on where the tentacles were, the corruption tentacles, basically those orange spots there. That'll actually keep you on his back when he does his roll. You see here, I'm on the right side. He's going to roll to the right. If you're not on those spots when he does his roll, he's, you're going to fly off and you're going to die. And obviously, you fail the achievement if you do that. So, again, you could also track this achievement. You can see it's red now. Once I do the actual combo, it'll turn white. So, it went left, right so far. I move back to the left for left, right, left. And he's going to roll again to the left. And it's that easy. Now, also, don't kill the bloods yet. You're going to want to save those to actually do the fight. You'll see why in a minute. So, he rolls to the left. As soon as he's done rolling, you move over to the right side. Guys, I just want to say right now, this achievement is really easy to do as long as you understand how to do the actual Spine of Deathwing fight. And again, I will show you how to do that once I'm done explaining the actual achievement. So again, I go over to the right side for the last right. This will be left, right, left, right. And you can see the achievement turns white. As soon as it turns white, you just do the fight as normal and the achievement will eventually pop. Now, how the fuck do you do Spine of Deathwing? So you have three ads that spawn. You have the Corruption Tentacles, the Corrupted Bloods, and the Hideous Amalgamations that spawn. The Amalgamations spawn after you kill the Tentacles. When you kill the Bloods, they shit themselves before they die and leave poop on the ground. You're going to want to drag the Amalgamations over the poop that are left behind by the Bloods until it reaches nine stacks. You can see it's tracking on the ad there. That just happens fine. You kill the ad off, it does a nuclear blast. What this does is it loosens a piece of Deathwing's armor here, and it spawns a burning tendon. Kill that tendon off. Once you kill the tendon off, a piece of the armor comes off. And that's the fight. You just need to do that three times. Once you do it three times, the fight's over, and you'll get your achievement. Guys, this achievement is really, really easy to do. The only way you can fuck this up is by not standing on the, what's it called, the little orange areas that spawn from the corruption tentacles during a roll, and you get flung off. So again, I killed the last side off. This is the third time, so all I have to do here is kill the burning tendon. I skipped the cinematic. Now, the achievement, for whatever reason, did pop up there, but you can see in the chat, I did get it there. And it's really that easy to do, guys. Simple. Next one, moving on to Chromatic Champion. Now, the way this achievement works is Deathwing needs to assault each dragon first. Meaning, sadly, you need to come back on four separate lockouts to do this. So this one will take at least four weeks to do, unless you've already been doing Dragon Soul. So on my Demon Hunter, I only need Alex Straza. So how do I get him to assault Alex Straza first? Simple. I move to her platform, and I kill that tentacle first. As soon as I kill that tentacle... 
you, you basically heal assault that dragon first. That's it. You're done. You move over, you do the fight as normal. So again, I just go over and kill the next, next three tentacles. Guys, this achievement is really easy to do. The only hard part about it is not even that hard. It just takes a while because, again, you need to do this on four separate lockouts. So again, I just moved over to Alex Straza's. I killed her tentacle first. I do the fight as normal. I go to Deathwing's platform. I go ahead and I cut his head off because I'm awesome. And the achievement will pop for me. And honestly, guys, that's it. This meta achievement is really, really easy to do. It's fucking simple. And that's it, guys. Congratulations on your ugly ass fucking Twilight Harbinger, but who cares? It's another map for the collection, right? You need to do it at some point. Anyways, guys, if you like this guide and want to see more solo guides, more guides on anything, please like, comment, and subscribe. And guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.